today we're going to take these stamps and some parchment paper. We're going to make tattoos for my journal. Stay tuned. Hi everybody, it's Julie and I'm here. I'm doing the finishing touches for my JNC Fall Collab journal. So you are going to see those tomorrow. Tomorrow is Wednesday the, oh, what is it? The 19th and 7 is uh, 26. Yeah. So it's the 26th and you are going to be seeing everybody's final projects. So I hope you will be here at 1030 at the premiere so that you can see what my final journal is going to look like. So the last things I want to do is I'm going to be doing some inking, some stenciling, but I wanted to add some stamps. Now, the thing is, is I do not want to ruin the journal that I have put together. It is all finished except for these finishing touches. So this is how I have found that I like to add things to um, a journal when it's already finished. If this works with the coffee dyed um, parchment paper um, on like coffee dyed papers, okay, on the and my parchment papers and things that I have used in this particular journal. So this is going to work really well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go ahead and I'm going to stamp my images. So we'll try black. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp my images on the parchment. And I, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and do two. Um, I don't have very much of this parchment, so I'm not going to I probably should only do one, but of a couple of them, I probably do want to. Okay. So for me, this has been a great way to be able to come back and add things um, to a journal. You have seen me, you've seen me do this before. Um, in the fishing journal, we did it with the fish. Um, and I did it in the napkin journal. Who got a cute little duck? I should have put him in the farm journal. Maybe I'll leave him out and add a couple, a little surprise thing for the farm journal. I, I don't think we need the bird so much, but I love these. These are from Cavallini and Company. I got mine at um, Ben Franklin in Ojai a long time ago. So you know what? On these, because of, because they are the rubber type stamp, I'm going to turn my pad and put my pad on it, and then I'm going to take the ink off that edge. Okay, let's start over here. Okay. Ooh, nice. Nice, nice. So, the... Patreons, the Emerald Patreons are getting some stamped fabric pieces in their um, kits this month. Rabbit. It. The owl. Does he look wise? Yeah, 
he these these print out nice. Okay, and then how about some mushrooms? You know what? I think we could do... <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm sorry. Because this journal has green in it, um, I think we'll do a couple of these green. Well, I guess not. I don't like the green. There can be a little green behind my black, right? <laughs> we'll go with that. Okay, I don't know if I'll use those or not. We'll see. A leaf skeleton. Okay, so, and I put a, there's a paper towel on the bottom in there, just, okay. Um, oh darn, I forgot I wanted the hedgehog, because he's so stinking cute. Hedgehog? Hedgehog. And this rabbit is really cute too. And I forgot about the deer. We'll put him up here. Like if I miss out on the leaf, that's okay. Okay, so I'm gonna let these dry, and then I'm gonna rip around them. So we'll be ripping around those, and I think they're gonna be a lot of fun to use. So this is, this stamp set came from Michaels, and I I have really loved using it. So I have the, the duck is out, right? The duck is out so that I can use it in the farm, the farm one. These came from Michael's also. Um, and, oh, you know what? We've got the little rabbit sitting too. There we go, okay. So I have, <laughs> I have stamped them onto my paper. I think we can go ahead and come over here and start with the owl. Down to the fox. And what I'll do is I'll just take the best image. Okay, so I'm thinking this this first one. Okay, and I'm going to leave this edge. I'm okay with that at this time. If I need to trim it down, then I'll trim it down. So I've got these that I can save for for my next my next project. Okay, so we'll come around our rabbit. And it is dry, so... 
I want at least one of each image. So our little chipmunk. So we went yesterday to take some stuff over to a friend that, so it was there for them to use on Saturday for an event. And <clears throat> there are friends that have all the peacocks. And they have a lot of peacocks now. They have like over 30 peacocks. And so we were talking about them. And um, <laughs> she was talking. Then we were talking about um, the dogs went running by. Well, the dogs are, they do not bother the peacocks. Because, you know, the peacocks let them know who is boss in the beginning so the the dogs do not bother the peacocks but she says that she can't have chickens because of the dogs and um so i was like and she she goes um and then we were talking about the garden and she says she can't have a garden because of the peacocks and the, the ground squirrels and the chipmunks. So they have chipmunks over there. We don't have chipmunks, thank goodness, at our house. Um, but they live, they have lots of property. And so, and chipmunks is just not even something I thought about being in the desert, though, either. But they've, they've got chipmunks. And um, did I already do a rabbit? Just the little one. <laughs> so that was it. Was fun. It was fun to get. I it was fun to get to see them. Haven't gotten to see them in a while, and it was fun to deliver the stuff because we then don't have to get up early on Saturday morning to take it over. <laughs> Yay! I probably wouldn't anyway. I'd let him go ahead and do it. But there you go. Okay, so we need this owl and a hedgehog, I think. Do we have a hedgehog? And a deer. Okay, so I like to rip these. I think it, it looks more... Um, it just It ends up looking more on purpose I think when I put them in in the journal so again we're going to be um, stenciling or adding some some color in the journal and we are going to be adding these stamped pieces so this has worked really really well for me um, so that I didn't end up with bad stamped images in a journal that was already almost finished. Because it's heartbreaking when you mess up a page, you know, in an almost finished journal. And you're like, ah! So. And since I've already, um... I went ahead and I've already bound it in everything because it could be considered finished. It doesn't have to have these other things. I think if I'm going to use the leaves, I'm going to need to use um, both leaves. So, yeah, so it's, I mean, it's devastating to, to mess it up. And it's hard to stamp on... A book that is already finished that has embellishments in it and every everything's in it it is it is done <laughs> except for what we're gonna do here okay so we will go ahead and pull it out and so to start off with we have this right here that could have something there's like nothing on this page so we could go ahead and put the little deer 
And I think what we'll do is, I'm just gonna use green because that kind of has been my, my theme using my mom's green to, to close this. Okay, so I'm gonna give it a little bit of green on my page here. Okay, then I'm gonna need a stamp on page or a, okay, so we'll put our ink and our thing up here. And then we can put this here, okay? So we're going to use um, this amazing glue. I was really surprised how much I like it. But my other glue is on its way. I love it too. So there we go. Look at that. We'll just put him right on there. Wrinkles and all. Okay. I love it. Love it, love it. And so here we have another really white page. And so I think we should go ahead and give it some, some green. Now the other thing that's gonna happen when you um, do like this is the things that are underneath it the imprint of them, the embossing of them can come through. So sometimes it's kind of interesting to see what can happen with that. We have this fun owl. I think we'll put him on that page. This is when I really wish I had a bigger desk. What I need to do is just get the other um, thing for my camera and just set it up. Just and just go with it. Okay, again, I'm okay with the wrinkles. Okay, there's, there's that. Okay. I could put one somewhere on here, but since we've got this one already out here, I think we'll we'll leave it. Okay. A little guy just because so he doesn't take up too much space you see how on that he just kind of looks like he belongs there doesn't he and then okay so who do we have facing that way. I think we'll do the rabbit. Yeah, so we'll put this rabbit way up in that top corner. You want to go all the way to the edge when you're glue putting your glue on. Let's see how good that looks on a coffee dyed page. I mean, it looks like you stamped right on the coffee dyed page. And we didn't. <laughs> so tomorrow you'll get the full flip through. We'll get to see... everything so I think we'll we'll end this right here oh look how cute he looks just sitting there like like he's supposed to be there <clears throat> maybe we need to add a little green but you see it doesn't take a lot and just add a little bit, especially like in the corners. And it just changes it. 
Oh, you know what we've got here? This is one of the round... Um, the round labels. I think we should put somebody on that. I think we're going to end up using everybody. Oh, how about the mushrooms? Yeah, we'll put the mushrooms. So I may end up taking out, because we're not even halfway through, and we've used a lot of them. Okay, but there you go. Pull it down. Yeah, I like that better. Okay, so adding stamps, um, stamping on the parchment, and then adding them in as tattoos. I love the way it looks, and I love that it you know it doesn't take up that much room on our pages, and. Look at him. Oh, so cute. But especially on the coffee dyed pages, it just blends in so, so well, so perfectly. Okay, so that is what I'm going to do, how I'm going to get stamped images into this journal without actually stamping in this journal. Have you tried it? Have you messed up a page or a journal by stamping on it and having it get messed up? Of course, we are playing with junk journals here and anything can be fixed in a junk journal. Find something to celebrate every day. Have an amazing day. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Don't forget, we'll be here with the fall collab tomorrow. Have a great day. Bye. Bye-bye. Join us. <laughs> Come join us if you like. No. Stay tuned. Whoop. Well, that's not looking very dark, is it? <laughs>